everyone, Allison here for Black Cat Scraps. So I've been really excited to get a Halloween card out this year, and this is what I've come up with. So I'm starting off with a piece of copy paper and I'm creating a template of a pumpkin shape. The circle that I'm using has a diameter of 4 inches. I'm using a template here and I'm just cutting a curved shape because not all pumpkins have straight lines. So I thought using purple would be a great color to shade my pumpkin in the shadowed areas. I didn't have a brown otherwise I would have seen what it looked like but I'm pretty satisfied with how the purple turned out. Shade the edges of your pumpkin, make it look more realistic. Go ahead and glue this down to another sheet of cardstock. Because of the hole, it kind of weakens it. So you're also going to want to hide your hinge. So leave one end not glued and cut it out. Alright, so if you notice, this pumpkin isn't quite square shaped, so we're going to have to figure out something for the hinge. I find it difficult to explain, so watch carefully. You're going to want to have glue marks at least a quarter of an inch. And you're going to need two sections the width of the line to the end of your pumpkin. You will need to make your hinge in an accordion fold. Use a bone folder if you need to to get a nice crisp fold. Alright, now we're going to need to cut this line so we can slide in our hinge. Make sure the center fold of your accordion is facing inward. If this hinge needs to be explained in further detail, just let me know. I will definitely make a whole video dedicated just to this. And make sure the edges of your accordion fold stay on the inside of your pumpkin. It's okay if you need to trim them off. You just don't want to see them when it's folded up. My corners barely just poke out and I just trimmed mine. So for my third pumpkin cutout, I'm doing brown and I'm going to use my template from the very beginning to find where my hinge line is. And I'm going to transfer that to the brown cutout. And make sure you don't cut completely to each end. You want to make sure that both sides are still attached. And then you should be able to slip your hinge right on through, glue it down, and it should fold perfectly. Make sure you fold it in place while it's drying. And then carefully remove the center of your circle, if you have not done already. Use precise scissors if you need to. And go ahead and ink those areas as well. Now with an orange color, I'm actually inking up the brown. I wanted the inside of my pumpkin to be dark, like shadow, and I figured instead of trying to find dark orange, which I didn't have in paper, I will make dark orange. So I'm gluing down now the fourth cutout pumpkin. 
This is going to be the back of the card. With a scrap piece of paper, I'm going to hinge the front and back. Now for the hinge, you want to make sure that the two ends of the pumpkin kind of meet. If yours shape doesn't do that, this isn't absolutely necessary, it just makes it look a little neater. Now I'm going to make a handle for my pumpkin. I'm cutting out a half circle and it's going to be about a quarter to a half inch thick. I definitely want it bigger than four inches though. And the only buttons that I had that were small enough weren't black, so I'm making them black with permanent ink. And if you need to, like I did, use some string to hold on to the button with, and then you can actually roll the edge of the button down so you can get all of it black. Let those dry, and then you can go ahead and glue on your handle. Using mini glue dots, I'm gluing down my buttons. Now this is like some kind of plastic. Um, I was thinking Mylar would probably work the best for this, but I didn't have any. So this is a fairly thick plastic. And I'm using stickers from Making Memories. And I'm just wrapping up the letters and then going to twist the ends like candy. And I found that it wanted to unravel a lot, so I ended up taking a clear block and holding it down. It helped. So I made some candy to go inside my pumpkin, and I wanted to have one of the candies say Halloween, because the candy wrapped in plastic says happy. If you're ever going to just write out a word and you're only going to do it one shot, make sure you write it out on a scratch piece of paper to make sure you spell it correctly. Because sometimes when I write out letters really slow, I sometimes spell them wrong. So this is a sure way to make sure I do it right. Add some shadowing on my candy so it doesn't look so two-dimensional. And you can make your candies any way you want. These are just some versions that I decided to come up with. And I'm using glue dots to put these letters down and mini glue dots for the ends. They just kept wanting to unravel. I did notice though that the glue dots didn't want to stick as well because of the ink I put down on the paper. So you might want to make sure that they stick. Give them a couple extra twists if they need it, and trim off any ends if they're too long. And I had some candy corn floating around. Not really something I'd want to see in the bottom of my kid's pumpkin, but it definitely adds some great color. And I think it turned out really well, and it kind of looks exactly how my drawing was and exactly what I visioned, and I'm really proud of this one. So I want to thank everyone for watching, and if you like Black Cat Scraps, please subscribe. Music by Josh Wordward, and video of course by yours truly. Have a safe and happy Halloween.